Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in the game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. If you like our video content and want to show support for football game plan, stop by our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan. And don't hesitate to drop a little something, something in the tip jar. It could be one, five or ever amount you would like to donate to football game plan. Every little bit helps. And we definitely appreciate your support. Eric Henry showcases above average vision for the position and pouring over his 2013 and 14 in 2015 film, I always felt as though he saw the field very well. Now, whether or not he was able to get there is a different story. And nine times out of 10, he was. But just from a pure vision standpoint, predicting movement in conjunction with his blocking and also identifying the weak spots of the defense, Henry constantly excelled in this area. Derrick Henry is also a very good inside runner. His feet are really good for running inside, in my opinion. They are constantly hot, so to speak, so he can pick them up and put them down pretty quickly. And I really like his footwork in confined spaces. So when you combine that with very good body lean as a runner, you're going to get a back that will fall forward more often than not. You'll see a player that will help your offense stay ahead of the chains more often than not. And I do think Henry gets miscategorized a lot as this big lumbering sledgehammer of a back. But the 6'3", 242-pound Heisman Trophy winner is very nimble for his size. I spoke about the vision earlier in the video, but when you combine good vision with good footwork, you'll get a player that has a really good overall feel for the running game. And Henry showcases a wide array of talents from patience, the ability to both set up blocks and also weave in and out of traffic. You saw an example of that this year versus Mississippi State. So peeling back the onion on Henry's game, you'll get a greater appreciation of what he brings to the table as a runner. The term deceptive speed is usually reserved for fast white players, but Derrick Henry is the quintessential example of deceptive speed. You don't think he's moving fast, but you constantly see him rip off long runs and very seldom get caught from behind. When you look at an area of improvement for Derrick Henry in his game, I don't think he's overly sudden. So if you're a defensive front seven and you beat him to the spot, it'll be hard for him to change direction and then make something happen. So he has to get a lot better in being a little bit quicker pre-snap when things break down from a blocking standpoint. Also, I think Derrick Henry has marginal balance. At times, you'll see him lose his balance when he's trying to cut back or make a move. Or even right here, you see him getting knocked off balance by a safety. That shouldn't happen for a back at 6'3", 240. So I think from a balance standpoint, he has to get a little bit stronger in the lower body. I believe Chris Brown, formerly of the Tennessee Titans, is a very good comparison to Derrick Henry. Both were taller backs at 6'3". Both are about the same weight, maybe 225 to 235, somewhere around that area. But both guys had that long stride, that build up speed, but they ripped off a good bit of long runs. They didn't get caught from behind. Chris Brown was a very productive pro, and I do think the same will happen for Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry is the second of three backs I have in his second, third round grade area. He's my ninth best back in his draft class. I'm a big fan of his game. I do think he will be a productive pro. When you look at Derrick Henry, you look at him through two different windows. You look at the 2013 and 14 Derrick Henry, and you also look at the 2015 Derrick Henry. I think this year's Derrick Henry is the one that received the most criticism about his game, which I think is unique in a sense because he won the Heisman Trophy. He ran for over 2,000 yards. But I think the difference was when you look at him from 2013 and in 2014, he's a guy that was a complimentary back. I think he's best suited to be a number two in the NFL. Yes, he can carry the load. You can give him the football 25 to 30 times. We saw that this year at Alabama. But when he was carrying the football 15 to 17 or 19 times, he was much more explosive, a little bit quicker, a little bit more, had a little bit more bouncing his step so I do think as a number two he could 
very well see more success like he saw in 2013 and 14. But if you're going to give him the football like they did last season, then yes, he won't be as explosive. He won't be as dynamic, but he still will be a very good pro.